Hello Stationeers, future me here. I wanted to give an update. Last time I recorded while trying to build a base, I recorded so much of it and tried to cover multiple topics, it's taken me a week to find all the parts and put it together. However, I figured out a quicker way to edit and if I focus on one thing at a time while building, hopefully I can get more tutorials out so we can have more players getting experienced in the game. Today's video will be a multiple options of gas capture and filling the jetpack. The next will be making the advanced metals in the furnace. Let me know what you want to see next or if you want me to go back and cover anything in a more detailed tutorial and I'll be sure to cover it. And now back to past me. What we're going to do is figure out how to capture gases for the jetpack. As you can see I'm running low right now. So I have this set up. This was originally designed for water, but I'm going to turn it into a nitrogen filter. So I'm going to need a hydroponics built in the Atmos print, and you will also need uh, piping to connect that. I have it just running under the ground here, under the frames here. And as you can see, I don't have uh, the extended pipe, so I need to extend the pipes. And I have sealed this off from the outside world, so I don't lose all my gas. So I'm going to just come in here, and I also have a pressure regulator. What the pressure regulator is going to do is make sure to pull it out of that tank and build up the pressure. And don't fall in and it's going to build up the pressure into this pipe and when you put your gas canister in there it'll balance between gas canister and this pipe so if I have this set to 3,000 it'll put 1,500 here and 1,500 here but if you leave it on as you go it'll continue filling it up what I like to do is set it to about 6,000 so that way I can get 3,000 and I'll leave it in there for a few seconds so that way I can get more than 3,000 you can go up to I believe it's 10,000 but as the temperature changes the pressure can increase or decrease so you don't want to overdo it as if you put 10,000 in there and you raise the temperature by 10 degrees it's gonna blow up so like I say, you're going to need, the only thing you need here is the hydroponic station. You don't need the storage tanks. And basically what I'm going to do is start grabbing atmosphere from outside. And I'm going to just have a passive vent and a nitrogen filter. So we need, let me double check, we need a nitrogen filter and basically we can turn it on. And that will filter this is your input this is your waste gas and this is your filtered gas it's going to go into this tank and this pressure regulator now the reason I have a tank is so I can store a lot of it over time maybe the light on will work I what I've done is I've taken and put a passive vent on the outside and it's going to run down this line and then hit this filtration and I've got nitrogen but you can use anything in your jetpack but the one thing I wouldn't use is hydrogen as you'll start to catch things you'll start to have explosions that's got to be tested at one point somebody put hydrogen in their jetpack and see if they can make a rocket now that would be cool and then fill up a room full of high oxygen and just take off. So that's going to come in here and it's going to go into the tank. And as well as come down here. And it's going to just start pressurizing. Now it's going to take a while. See we're at 98%. The filters work based off of how many moles passes through. So if, even if there's no time limit on it, it could last for a week, it could last for five minutes if you put enough moles through it. 
All right, so here we have our jet pack, and basically I have this canister here, and you can either press F to change it, or hold Alt and just drag it right over here, and it will start to fill up. And you see we now we have 831. And yes, you will get a warning on it, but don't worry about it. There's no imminent danger. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead... As you can see, it's up to 12.95. Uh, press four and put that back. So for right now, I'm just gonna let this run. And if it over, if it uses up all of the filter, that's no problem. It'll just stop working. And I'm gonna set this up to three, uh, 6,000. I like to set mine at 6,000. When you put the tank in, it will balance itself out. And yes, you can use the labeler. That's close enough. You can use the labeler to get a faster precision movement. Otherwise, you move by ones or one hundreds. Okay. It is 23 degrees. I did turn them off. So now we can plant some more food while we're in here. But we're going to check on this. Now this has been running for... A day or two and as you can see there is 6.08 MPA in there as well as 68 KPA 69 69 KPA in here and it's 14 degrees and that's because we are grabbing atmosphere from outside so now the heat transfer from this room will end up transferring around with the uh, the tanks so they'll be able to balance out the temperature cooler they are they'll uh, will absorb some of the temperature fluctuations from the Sun and we need to go ahead and start eating here before it gets to be too late and we're up to nine percent and that's all you have to do is just get above zero in order to cancel out the damage to your player. Um, we don't need this anymore. And we're just going to go ahead and demonstrate that so now I have my labeler and I can set this to any number so if I set it to a thousand see it will change to a thousand and that is a quick way to change these you can also change memory chips that way as well it makes it very easy to set very large numbers so we want to capture some oxygen what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off we're going to turn this off and we're going to go back and grab our tablet And might as well very low yep there's a quick little trick you can do if your hands are full and you need to swap something use the alt and drag the item over so what we're gonna do here is we're at 10 C and it's slowly dropping and that's because it's been warm through the day and we had had this equalized uh, open so as you can see we're above 0 C and the temperature is slowly dropping and that's it's warmed up over the day but if we shut that off we're not going to drop as fast you can see it's 8 7.9 but over here it's 2.3 so there's one little trick you can do to keep it warm 
for your ices, but as soon as you go to put one in here, belt spread one. I want to change that belt here real quick. Keep the other hand free. It's going to start dropping the temperature. So. Gonna go ahead and we should be able to keep going until it hits below zero C. So how do I I want to get all of this oxygen and instead of sitting here hitting the button 50 times I'm just gonna come over here. Well no actually I can't I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna dump this back out and I'm gonna grab myself one volatile. Oh, make sure to close the mold. Grab my one volatile and I'm going to activate it and it should drop. There we go. One, 1.5 Kelvin. Which is 800 C. So how do I now I'm going to dump this all in here. And it's just going to process for me. But you notice the pressure is going to go up. Temperature is going to drop. Seven MPA. So now what we want to do before we put that into our base, we're going to open this up and release that over here so that way it cools down and we want to make sure we get below 4 MPA or we need to come over here and increase this seven thousand That should be fine. So now we're just going to watch the temperature over here. And we're at 170 degrees. 169. So what we can do, we can speed this up just by dropping more in there. And it's not, it's going to melt the ice, but it's not going to activate it and make it react with the hydrogen because there's just not enough hydrogen. And increasing the pressure does take it a little bit longer to cool off, but that's no big deal. Uh, what we can do is we can jump this, kind of reduce the pressure on this, and we're still increasing in pressure. How are we increasing in pressure? I'm not adding anything. We still have a bit of hydrogen, uh, eight water in there. And there we finally equalize the pressure out through the whole entire thing and we should start dropping and we don't have our oxygen filter on I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off but if you do notice we're at 92 we do have our nitrogen filter on and that you notice how that went up as we put oxide in there that's at 10% uh, nitrogen inside of oxide Light on. Light on. so now those soybeans should be done by now It is 19 degrees in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a heater. We are done with our soybeans. And we should have enough that we're going to make some fries. 8, 9, 10. Just 
out. I don't like to do this unless I do 10 at a time because it's the game has a weird thing about putting less than 10 in the air around five or less. It starts going into decimals. Did bring our pipes in. Grab our tablet. And as you see we got 3,000 moles. 3,000 moles. Let's turn that on. And the oxygen is just dropping. Filling up 1.7 MPA. Our nitrogen should be going up. We're at 1.04. Five in that pipe. Let's see if we got all the nitrogen out of here. Yep, we have all the nitrogen out. See now that temperature of this is 67 degrees, so we've got 109 degree Celsius, uh, 2 MPA of oxygen. That's going to take a long time to cool down. So actually, I'm going to turn this off because now that heat is going to start transferring. You see, it's already going up 24, 25 degrees went up quite a bit we're at 25 and a half 25.6 even at night it's still it's increasing in temperature fairly quickly that's because we're putting hot oxygen into this storage tank and see the lines where the heat expanding the atmosphere from frame to frame and that's going to slowly go down now if I leave that vent open eventually this pipe will transfer with those radiators and if it gets cold enough outside it'll get cold enough in this pipeline but it will not affect these pipes here and these tanks. These tanks are what they are because they're on a separate pipe network. And that's how you capture gas. And there we go. We have all of our oxygen out of there. Now there's probably still some in the furnace lingering around. And we're down to 1.99 and that pressure is going to continuously drop as the temperature drops just because you have two MPA you come back tomorrow and like well it's only 20 degrees what happened to all my and you're down to 2 kPa well, what happened to all my oxygen didn't lose it it just condensed inside the tank the hotter it is the more it expands so fill up your canisters when you go to fill up these canisters make sure they are warm you go outside and you go running around and you're sitting at 7 MPA and you drop a tank out on the ground and it heats up throughout the day it's going to explode don't say you weren't warned but if you want to see explosions then more power to you just don't kill yourself. Do it just as long as you do it scientifically and for the you know for scientific reasons or whatever. Go ahead. Make sure you don't blow yourself up. Upload your base on Steam and post me a link in the comments for a live Pixit stream on Twitch Saturday Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe if you want to follow along with the base expansion. Until next time, happy stationary.